cell cycle represents the life cycle of a cell. It involves a series of growth and development steps. This leads to the formation of a new cell. We can summarize the main events as follows. In step one, the cell grows and increases the number of subcellular structures such as ribosomes and mitochondria. The DNA replicates. This is called interphase. The cell spends the most of its life in this phase. Step two, in mitosis, the nucleus divides and one set of chromosomes is pulled to each end of the cell. This represents only a small part of the cell cycle. In step three, the cytoplasm and cell membranes divides in cytokinesis to form two identical cells. Let's take a detailed look at what happens during mitosis. Mitosis is a cell division that produces two daughter cells identical to the parent. These cells are described as diploid cells as they contain the full number of chromosomes. Mitosis occurs when an organism grows and when an organism becomes damaged and needs to reproduce new cells. Cloning and asexual reproduction only use mitosis for cell division. Mitosis involves four steps, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. We use the acronym PMAT to help us remember these steps. In prophase, DNA would have replicated in interphase. The chromosomes pair up in homologous pairs called chromatids. Chromosomes condense, becoming visible, and the nuclear membrane breaks down. They attach to protein structures called spindle fibers. Metaphase, chromatids line up along the middle of the cell. Remember, M for middle, this will help you recall what happens during the step. Anaphase, Chromatids are pulled to different ends of the cell. This is because the spindle fibers shorten and pull the chromatids apart. Remember, A for apart. This will help you recall what happens during the step. Telophase, new membranes form around the chromosomes at each end of the cell. And finally, cytokinesis, the cell membrane pinches in and eventually divides into two daughter cells. It is useful to also be able to know what the different stages of mitosis look like underneath the microscope. Take a look at this picture what stage of mitosis do you think it shows? You can pause the video while you think. Well done if you got anaphase. Mitosis produces cells containing a complete set of chromosomes. To make our gametes, our sex cells, we need another cell division called meiosis. Meiosis is a reduction division and it reduces the original number of chromosomes by half. These cells are described as being haploid. In meiosis, you go through PMAT twice. In prophase one, DNA would have replicated in interphase. The chromosomes pair up in homologous pairs called chromatids. Chromosomes condense and become visible and the nuclear membrane breaks down. In metaphase one, chromatids again line up along the middle of the cell. They attach to structures called spindle fibers. In anaphase one, Chromatids are pulled to different ends of the cell. This is because the spindle fibers shorten and pull the chromatids apart. New membranes form around the chromosomes at each end of the cell. And finally, cytokinesis, the cell membrane pinches in and eventually divides into two daughter cells. Two new cells are formed. The swapping of alleles and the random mixing of chromatids creates variations in the cells. At the end of the first stage of meiosis, you have two cells that have 23 chromosomes each. In the second cycle of division, the chromatids line up along the center of the cell again. These chromatids are pulled apart to either end of the cell. At the end of the second stage of meiosis, you have four cells that have 23 chromosomes each, and they are genetically different from each other. So let's compare mitosis with meiosis. In mitosis, the new cells contain exactly the same number of chromosomes and the same genes as their parents. Two new cells are produced at the end of cell division. This type of cell division produces diploid cells. The purpose of this cell division is for growth, repair, and the replacement of damaged cells. Mitosis also involves one cell division. If we compare this now to meiosis, the purpose of this cell division is the production of gametes in the sex organs. Gametes are produced not by mitosis, but by meiosis, a reduction cell division. Four new cells are produced at the end of the cell division. This type of cell division produces haploid cells. The new cells contain half the set of chromosomes. The four new cells are genetically different from each other. Meiosis involves two cell divisions.
Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching and resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.